Hi everybody, it's Dialas, and today I have another video for you. Um, so today I'm doing a mail and history video for the particular doll that is in this package here. I bought her from Mercari, um, and I think I got a pretty good deal on her, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. Let me preface this video by saying I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a Barbie historian, so some of this could be wrong. It's just information I got on the internet, and I will list um, the couple websites that I use to gather this information. Okay. Put a little note in here. Thank you. That's nice. A little tea box. And here's the dolly. This is Skipper, who is Barbie's little sister. Um, she first came out in 1964, but um, this version is like one of the Malibu style Skippers with the tan skin. The tan lines are from a particular line that's called Sun Lovin', and they were made from 78 to 81. So that is the Skipper that I have here. Um, so I was excited to get her. I think she's really cute, um, and uh, yeah, I think she'll go great with my other Malibu Barbies. Um, I have a video about them uh, so you can check that out. Skipper's joining the Malibu family. Now this Skipper I am going to reroute because as you can see she's missing so much of her hair. Um, you know all these plugs in the back are missing and all this hair in front so I will be restoring her hair eventually. And yeah otherwise she's pretty good. There's some scrapes in the tan um, areas or the non-tan areas but that's pretty common um, for a doll of this age. Uh, you know she is kind of like what 40 years old. I wouldn't expect her to be perfect. Now she does not have bendy legs which is interesting. So I don't think there's any wire in there. She definitely feels newer than my early 70s and late 60s Barbies. The head is squishy. Um, she still has that classic Skipper face, um, a little different than early Skipper, but pretty much the same, uh, just slight changes, you know, with, I would say, like, the makeup. Um, but yeah, the face mold is very similar with that very pronounced um, nose and mouth there. So yeah, I'm really loving her. I think she's so cute, uh, and I'm excited to reroute her different color. So since Skipper um, is not that bad as far as her body is uh, not that dirty, we can um, go ahead and just uh, wipe her down with a baby wipe. Um, if she was really dirty, I would use alcohol or a Mr. Clean eraser. Uh, but yeah, if I have a video about that if you want to check it out. But um, anyway, so basically we're just going to wipe down her body and just get her kind of nice and clean. Here's her with her hair down. Permanent bald ponytail. And then I'm just drying her off on her face with a paper towel, um, just pressing to make sure we get any sort of moisture out. Now she is like a straight leg doll, so she doesn't have um, any metal in her legs, but obviously you still don't want your dolls to get real wet, worried about mold, that kind of thing. So she is all done as far as cleaning her up, not much to do. Um, in the future, you know, I will reroute her. Let's switch over to some history about Skipper. After all, that's the point of these videos, male and history videos. Rather than covering Skipper's whole history, I'm just going to focus on the 1960s. That's my favorite period of Skipper. And yes, I know my Skipper is not from the 60s. My Skipper is Sun Lava Malibu Skipper from 78. But I don't care. I like 60s Skipper the best. Skipper was released in 1964. She is Barbie's little sister. Um, she was the first family member that Barbie had. And trust me, she has had a lot. But Skipper was the first. Her last name is Roberts, just like Barbie's last name. She was designed to be a tween about age 11. But over the years, she did eventually become to an older teenager, like 16, sort of that age. 
we're just gonna focus on little 11 year old Skipper. Skipper was supposed to make Barbie seem more wholesome, more family like, toy for children, since they're trying to get rid of that history of her as a sexy cartoon call girl. Of course, Barbie wasn't ready to have a baby yet, but a kid sister that appealed to a slightly younger audience was perfect. She had uh, clones just like Barbie did, you know, fakie dolls. That's how popular Skipper was. Since Skipper is younger than Barbie, she is a smaller doll. So she is nine and a quarter inches. Barbie is actually 11 and a half inches. Skipper has a childish face. She's got these cute chubby cheeks. Her body is a child body. So she's flat chested, flat footed. The original Skipper was blonde, brunette, and red haired. And her hair is styled long, parted in the middle. It's straight. She's got blunt bangs and a headband. And then she has blue eyes that are always looking to her right. And of course, this is 1960s Skipper. It changed way over the years. And there are many prototypes, rare dolls, variations that are different than this. But this is just either general information about Skipper. But you know, there are always going to be outliers. Impressively, Skipper's face mold did not change until 1978. And it really wasn't that much of a drastic change either. Just like her sister, she's very fashionable and she has an adorable wardrobe. She starts in this transitional period of fashion. So the early 60s, they were influenced by the late 50s, kind of like that Americana, wholesome, but also bullet bras look. And then Barbie went mod, she got into the British invasion fashion, and Skipper did too. Skipper had her own fashion sets. She could wear them with her friends, and we'll talk about those friends later. She also had some matching sets with her older sister. All Skippers come in their bathing suit, a uh, classic budget doll style. They come with a small white brush comb and comb and a stand. And they came with shoes until 1968 with the twist and turn one. So as far as I could find, there were four main releases of Skipper. In 1964, there was Straight Leg Skipper. That was the first one. And then in 65, they released a bendable leg Skipper. So she bends at the knees. But um, the rubber legs with the joint inside. No obvious joint on the knees. And then in 68, she got the mod remake, so she has the twist and turn waist, and she has rooted eyelashes, which are so beautiful. Uh, TNT mod skipper with those rooted eyelashes. Uh, she also comes with a tiny little eyelash brush. I feel like I have the same complaints about today's dolls. I don't want brushes. I want shoes. <laughs> And in 1969, she got a new hairstyle, and it's these awesome sausage pigtails. And there are so many lovely outfits that were sold separately. I'm just going to have to pick a few of my favorite ones to talk about. 1964, I love this one called Dream Time. It's pink, it's polka dot, it's a PJ set. Uh, it's so cute because it's cat themed and I just think wow doll lovers have been enjoying cat themed outfits since the beginning of fashion dolls. I love the little cat stuffed animal, um, the little cat embroidery on the pocket of her overcoat and that overcoat style is such like a retro concept. You don't really see anyone wearing uh, this heavy overcoat thing when they're going to bed. This dress set is called Cookie Time and it is just so spectacular. Has this lovely drop waist with a little red belt. The lower part of the dress is navy and the top is like a white button up style with red buttons to offset the skirt and the shoes. And then it comes with a bunch of little extras. Since it's called Cookie Time, it comes with um, some little cooking utensils, rolling pin, cookie mix, um, all these little cute things that you can use to play and have Skipper make some cookies. And yes, at this time, Barbie did have a dream kitchen. In 1965, we have Day at the Fair. So this is a matching one that she has with Barbie. I love that Barbie comes with a cotton candy and then Skipper comes with a little Barbie doll, a little doll of her own, which is just adorable. I think the wrap skirts, the head scarves, the pattern fabric, it's just, it looks great together. What an ensemble. 
Again in 65 we have another set, Platter Party. I don't love this outfit, but it comes with a record player and little records to push onto it. And I think that's just so awesome. It's like Rainbow High, you would see the doll coming with little AirPods or older Barbies. I remember they had little versions of iPods. Staying in 65, we have Town Togs. And when I first got into doll collecting with Blythe dolls in 2005, uh, this was a really sought after outfit because if you didn't know, Blythe dolls can wear a lot of Skipper's clothes. I've also seen out there some sewing patterns of this dress if you wanted to make your own. That's available somewhere. In my opinion, this is the very beginning of the more mod fashion styles. You just see a little bit of the influence starting here. I love the pleats in this dress and the matching heavy coat is great. And last of the 1965 era is Beauty Bath Accessory Set. Um, so it comes with a bunch of little toiletries. Interestingly is this scale, which is very controversial um, in the Barbie world. It's not the only set to have this scale that is permanently set at 110 pounds. So definitely not body positive here. Uh, yeah, but it's interesting that Skipper did have a lot of sets and things like that. Moving on to 1966. I just adore this one and it wasn't one I had seen until I started looking into Skipper's history. It's called Dog Show. So she comes with a little dog which is I think a Scotty because there's also a little Scotty on her t-shirt there. Um, and I just think it's amusing because my Barbies when I was a kid had dogs and I'm just thinking wow Barbies had dogs right since the beginning. Here's one from 67 called Beachy Peachy. I adore the just cute, bright, happy, hippie color scheme this one has. The Rick Gregg trim, the fact that it's a two-piece set. Just lovely. This was another coveted Blythe item, the 1967 all spruced up. It's just, you know, like classic 60s mini dress, the white collar and cuffs, the little ribbon. Just awesome. And in 68, we have Trim Twosome. I love a white jacket and the stripes on this outfit are like sunset colors, but also so cheery. It's really cute. In 68 is Posy Party. I can't get enough of the vintage patterns on these fabrics for Skipper's clothes and the colors are just popping. She comes with a matching romper that goes underneath. And the Empire Waist with that single pleat, that's so mid-century. 1969, we have Drizzle Sizzle. And I just love this transparent raincoat. There's a cape with a scalloped edge. The boots are transparent and they match the raincoat. What I don't understand is why doesn't it come with an umbrella? I don't see any images with an umbrella. Why does she have a raincoat? She needs an umbrella too, right? She's also got that headscarf and the underdress. Love it. Also from 1969 is Plaid City. This is just bright blue, lime green. The layerability is great with all these pieces. This is just happy, cheerful. Skipper did continue to be a fashion icon into the 70s and continuing this mod fashion era. Over the years, Skipper has had a few friends. Um, in 1969, she got a boyfriend named Ricky, and then she also got a BFF named Scooter. They all had the same body as Skipper. Their faces were different. Um, Ricky and Scooter have similar little kid chubbiness to them. Um, personally, okay, people are gonna hate this, but I think Scooter looks like Midge and they're both homely. Perhaps this is intentional to buffer Barbie's supermodel appearance. Anyway, <laughs> don't hate me, please. Scooter and Ricky uh, were never seen again after 1967. She got all her friends down the line though. Skipper was given the full treatment. She's got a clothing line, sewing patterns, carry cases, a house, furniture, accessory sets, play sets. She had extra merchandise like coloring books, paper dolls. Now Skipper today looks very, very different than 1960s Skipper. Personally, I played with 90s Skipper and I can remember quite a few of them specifically. There have been some Skipper repros, three of them. The first one was in 1994 for her 30th 
birthday and she's wearing the outfit set called happy birthday which was from 65 this doll was actually made of porcelain the second one is so cool it's called knitting pretty and it's a set with barbie um it came out in 1964 and this repro was released in 2007 this skipper was a regular normal vinyl material and the final one was her 50th birthday. Again, a repro in that happy birthday dress from 65. I'm so, so surprised that none of these reproductions were Skipper in her classic swimsuit. Because I feel like most of the dolls in the Barbie family get a classic swimsuit release. And now that we've taken a look at all of Skipper's colorful world, let's look at some vintage ads and compare some prices to what they might be close to today. Now for all these conversions, I just used the general year of 1965. I know not all these Skipper items may have been made in that year, but it's kind of like a midway year that was easy to do calculations with. So take that into consideration. And you can find my conversion calculator link below. So here is an original Skipper ad. This would be when she was new. So they're advertising her as Barbie's kid sister. She's smaller, nine and a quarter inches. And it just shows the different outfits that you can get for her here and different cases that uh, you can share with Barbie. And then also Barbie's dream house is being advertised there at the bottom. So this is straight leg Skipper and really the first gen Skipper. You can see that her cost was $1.82 in approximately 1965 and 1766 in today's money. Her outfits, uh, they all vary in price a little bit, but $1.84 is one that a lot of them are, and that's about 1786 in today's money. And then lastly, if you were looking for the basic skipper case, the smallest one, $1.87. That's about eighteen fifteen in 2023. I'm actually really surprised about the cheapness of the cases. I actually would think cases would cost a little more, but I guess because those are the very small basic ones, not the elaborate ones, maybe that's why they're a little cheaper. This advertisement has outfits that Barbie and her little sister Skipper have matching with each other. So you can see there's everything here from wedding outfits, ballet outfits, undergarments, um, so many cool things. You can also see the fair outfit that I have also mentioned in this video. Um, the matching fun at the fair for Barbie and day at the fair for Skipper. And you can see a price comparison here. So Barbie's Fun at the Fair was $1.66 uh, in the 60s. So this would be roughly $16.11 today. And Skipper's outfit called Day at the Fair was a little cheaper. That was $1.24. And now it would roughly be about $12.03 today. So as you can see, um, the prices are still um, pretty equivalent to what things are today. I think these matchy matchy outfits with the sisters are just so cute. So this ad here is for bendable legs, Skipper and Scooter dolls. Skipper originally did not have bendable legs, so the classic Skipper that you see in the red and white bathing suit does not have bendy legs. But we have navy blue swimsuit Skipper with bendy legs. And you can see Scooter is there also and she is the same price. And we have a ton of the different outfits that she has, cases, her dream room. For example, the outfit Dog Show, which is also featured in this video, was $1.44 in 1965 and then roughly $13.97 in 2023. So this is advertising the Bendy Leg Doll for $2.79, roughly in 1965, and that would be $0.27.08 in 2023. I think that is a uh, pretty pricey for a budget doll, which you know that these girls are. But, you know, I think that's about what you get for um, a new doll these days, too. You can see this ad has the two groups of friends, the older kids, Barbie, Midge, Ken, Allen, and then the younger little kiddos, Scooter, Skipper, and Ricky. And you can see Ben Leg Skipper is being sold for $2.33, approximately $22.61 today. And if you wanted to get her with her basic Skipper doll, not the bendable leg, you can get a gift set for $4.97 that would be about $48.23 today. So this ad is sort of a transitionary period when they're going from straight leg to bendable leg Skipper. You can still buy straight leg Skipper, like right there it says basic Skipper, $1.76, but they're really trying to get you to buy bend leg Skipper. And I get it, you know, the bendy legs, I like them, they're cool. 
Here we have some outfits for Skipper and Ricky and some other things. Um, so Skipper has a, this cool bedroom. You can see this Skipper's jewel bed. So that was $247 in the mid-60s and roughly $23.97 today. And then Skipper's dream room. There's been a couple pictures of this throughout the video and I would love to go more in depth in a different video. I just don't have time for this one. But anyway, her dream room was $466 and roughly about $45. 522 these days. This ad has some really awesome like bedroom kind of carry cases but what I'm looking at is the clothing here. So we have a set with 1968 uh, Skipper. She is a bendable leg and she also has the rooted eyelashes and she comes with this adorable outfit set called Lace and Velveteen. Uh, looks like it's a Sears exclusive gift set. So it was 549 approximately 1968 I guess we'll say. But I did all my math conversions for 65, so we're just going to go with how much this would be in 65. And um, so 549 translates to about 5328 in 2023. And then we have this other awesome, very mod outfit called Confetti Cutie. 179 in approximately 1965, and then 1737 in 2023. Here we have some furniture for Barbie and Skipper. Um, we can see that jewel bed. She has a vanity and also a closet. Now the closet, which is the lowest cost Skipper furniture item, is $1.57 in approximately 1960s and then roughly about $15.24 today. You can see also below that we have Skipper's bunk beds, which is really cute looking too. Um, and that one is $2.54 in roughly $19.65 and about $24.65 today. So many of these little things like her dream house, her bed, they come with these so free decorating things. So it's, I'm guessing, some type of cheap fabric. I know the dream house comes with curtains like that. So it also seems like it has a crafting aspect to it. And um, yeah, so it's really nice because the Barbie and the Skipper furniture has a similar look to it. It matches. It's both pink themed. It's all going to look good in the dream house, right? So how much are these dolls selling for today? I've seen them on eBay selling for recently $20 to $30 for the cheapest ones, but some of them are selling in the hundreds, you know, 180 bucks or more. It really just depends on the condition of the doll and what extras the doll comes with. I think in general Skipper is one of the fairly cheaper vintage Barbie dolls to collect because you can get her really on the lower cost end. And then her clothing uh, is cheaper to buy too. There are so many awesome pieces uh, from vintage Skipper's history that I was not able to talk about today. Different outfits, different sets. So I was wondering, did you like this video? Did you want to see a part two of it? I can certainly do a part two of Skipper's 60s history, or I can move on to Skipper Beyond in some other decades. Would certainly love to do like a 70s or 90s Skipper video too. Let me know if anyone's interested in anything specifically, and I will take that into consideration. Thank you so much for watching my video and please watch some more if you enjoyed this one.